What does the inside of your thing look like? It's exactly the same as my house, it's just half the size. <laughs> Hello guys, it is me, Dave from the Kodo, back with another update video for you on the Stardew Valley multiplayer patch. Uh, posted today that you could opt in on Steam only for the 1.3 beta. So if you go to stardewvalley.net slash blog, this will be the main post right now. Uh, you may have to dig for it if you come a couple days later. But basically what you're going to do is follow these instructions for Steam users uh, GOG users will have access in a couple days as it states but on Steam you're gonna right click on the game in your library go to properties and then go to the betas tab you're gonna put in the code jumping jumping junimos right there and then click check code this will download the beta uh, well then you have to do the drop down and say I opt in for the betas but then it'll download the update you'll be able to jump on they put some precautions here. You're definitely going to want to save any of your backup, any of your files, back them up just in case. Uh, you may not have an issue, but just in case, you always want to make backups of those saves, especially if it's an older game or older save that you don't want to lose all of your progress. <clears throat> and it shows you where to go and how to save those up. You can use existing save files. You just have to build a cabin, which is very cheap, on your on your farm or you can start a whole new farm which I'm gonna splice in some some uh, footage I was playing with one of my co-workers uh, we started a brand new save file and you can you can have up to three cabins on your on your farm and you can set that to begin with right here starting cabins none through three and you can have the layout either I did the close one so it's relatively close to my main house or you can have them separate they'll be a little bit spaced out the profit margin is a way to make the game a little bit more balanced for experienced users so if you have four very experienced players that are gonna play together you can put the profit margin to 75 percent 50 percent or 25 percent so you make less money selling stuff so it takes a little bit more work for the more experienced players it's kind of like a, a difficulty gauge um, to invite somebody, so whoever hosts the the farm that people are going to be joining to, they need to invite. And when you click invite friend, it will show up in your, it'll pop open the, the Steam friends and you invite them that way. Or you can do a code uh, and you can be invited that way. So you can do friends only or invite only. So you can send invitations or invite codes your server or you can do your thing as offline so if you have people living on your farm but you just want to play by yourself today you can turn off the server shut it down offline now it's important to remember that um, when the person who's hosting shuts down their game everybody else gets booted so it's it's not just an open farm that's living out there right now it's not that way whoever's hosting the farm when they sh when they log off everybody else gets booted off the farm and it does have the ability for land games which is cool so here's the uh, the join co-op menu uh, when you first boot it up you'll have the uh, at the bottom of the screen you'll have new load uh, co-op which is a new button and then uh, exit so it looks like this be able to join or host host gives you the option to host a brand new farm or one that you've already started A little bit of information there, invite codes, LAN, um, and then it just goes over some issues here where if you can't, you can't join in. So definitely check this out. I'm going to post in some footage from when I was playing multiplayer just so you can see, you can see how it is. Um, you all have to go to sleep at the same time to progress the day. Uh, laying down in your bed when nobody, when everybody else isn't in their bed does recharge your energy. So you can go and lay down, get some energy back, get back out of bed without the day progressing, and go back to work. Um, the money is pooled. Items are not. You pick up your items individually. And the money, any money that's spent, everybody sees the money spent or gained. It's all one big pool. So, like I said, I'm going to splice in some, uh, some video here. I'm going to start recording some gameplay of the multiplayer and putting that up but uh, check it out but that is all for right now check out my channel for a series where i start to get ready for this multiplayer update right now it's only in steam beta it's not on any of the other consoles um 
So, but that'll be coming soon. Once the Steam beta is over, they'll fix any bugs that have been reported or are showing up, and then it'll start to go out. Uh, the single-player content was also noted to be available, but he just hasn't released the code yet for it. He wants to kind of keep them separate so that he's not getting bombarded with with bugs on two different versions of the beta. So, check that out. Uh, watch the following footage, and like always, guys, good luck and have fun. says unnamed farmhand has joined Oops. where are you it's making me make a character oh, okay there's like a little hut next to my house it's amazing I wonder what happens like if I go to sleep, does it progress the day or do we both have to go to sleep? It uh makes both of you have to be in the bed to make it in okay. the day. Uh. How exciting. Exciting. I guess like if you went AFK, I could just shut the server off and it would kick you off and I could load it back up. Did you have plant stuff inside of yours? Did I have what? Did you have parsnip seeds? <clears throat> um, I don't think so. Oh, there's a package. Oh yeah, parsnip seeds. What is the inside of your... Thing look like. It's exactly the same as my house, it's just half the size. Double the profit now. I wonder, do you have your own individual money compared to mine, or do we share money? Um, it says I have 500. Yeah, but I haven't spent any either, so. I'm gonna go to. I'll go to the market and buy something and see what it does. Give me stuff? Oh, we probably have to transfer stuff through the chests. Oh, signs too. Give you stuff, I could probably just throw it on the ground or whatever, but I don't think you can do it with money. Well, I'm buying three things plus. Did your money go down? Uh, yep. Okay, so we pool money. Okay. So it's down to zero? Yep, that makes sense. <laughs> I bought all the stuff I need, we need for the first. the spring crops. Plus extra parsnip seeds. I gotta watch that then, because Daphne will definitely... We gotta, I gotta sleep, I have no... Waiting for other players. <clears throat> yeah. Everyone's like, 
Daphne has a tendency to just hold the button on whatever she's buying and buys like a hundred of them. <laughs> What's this? Oh, the fishing pole is ready. Just turn my music all the way down. Yeah, it gets. It's like. I don't know what developers think is like an appropriate sound level, but I don't all think I've, up. I've never played a game where it's like, oh, this is definitely the volume that I want. I often have it turned completely down. Like for WoW, I have it at 3%. I turn it up to 5% when I'm playing by myself and I don't need to hear anything else. <laughs> I wonder if our skills go up at the same rate. Um, I don't think so. Like, if I forage a lot, do your does your foraging skills go up? 